Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at this book. It's called Coordinate Geometry. It's written by Loney. This is Complete Parts 1 and 2. Macmillan and Company. This is a really ancient book. I'm just going to give it a whiff here. Just mm, smells amazing. Wow, wow, wow. This one's, this is a classic. So let's open it up. The Elements of Coordinate ge Geometry, Part 1 and Part 2. And here's uh, the date, 1924. This is a very, very old book. S. Loney, M.A., late professor of mathematics at the Royal Holloway College, University of London, sometime fellow of Sydney Sussex College, Cambridge. Copyright, this is the first complete edition, 1924, printed in Great Britain. Let's look at the, the preface here briefly. In the following work, I have tried to present the elements of coordinate geometry in a manner suitable for beginners and junior students. The present book only deals with Cartesian and polar coordinates. Within these limits, I venture to hope that the book is fairly complete and that no propositions of very great importance have been omitted. Hmm. Cool. Let's take a look at some other topics. So here are the contents. Straight line, rectangular coordinates. Let's turn the page. There's a lot of contents in this book. <clears throat> the circle, okay, conic sections. Uh, so like the parabola, the ellipse, the hyperbola, polar equations, um, general equation, miscellaneous propositions, and then answers. Let's go to the back and look at the answers first. Let's take a look at those. Might be back here. So here's some answers to some of the problems. You can see um, there's not much here, right? That's 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 pretty sparse. It's very very sparse. Very sparse when it comes to answers. Um, this book is probably free, by the way, because it's so old. I'm sure it's in the public domain. I, I think it is. Um, you can Google it or you can find it. Uh, I'll try to leave a link in the description in case you want like a physical copy. Um, so here's where it starts. Chapter 1, Introduction, Some Algebraic Results, Quadratic Equations. Let's read this together. So it says here, the roots of the quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, may easily be shown to be, I like how it says shown, so negative b plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a and negative b minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. This, this quantity here, uh, b squared minus 4ac, is called the discriminant. And depending on the sign of that uh, quantity, depending on the sign of the discriminant, that will determine uh, the types of roots that you can get. Uh, they are therefore real and unequal, equal or imaginary according to the quantity. Oh. Here it is, is positive, zero, or non-negative. At S, according to, yeah, okay, you can write it that way. Relations between the roots of any algebraic equation and the coefficients of the terms of the equation. Okay, so if any equation be written so that the coefficient of the highest term is unity, okay, so basically one, it is shown in any treatise on algebra that, one, the sum of the roots is equal to the coefficient of the second term with its sign changed, the sum of the products of the roots taken two at a time is equal to the coefficient of the third term. And last but not least, the sum of their products taken three at a time is equal to the coefficient of the fourth term with the sign change, and so on. So very powerful stuff. Um, this is something that's typically not taught anymore. Um, you could take, uh, I mean, it's just not a popular thing. You, know, you can take an algebra course and you're not gonna see that. Uh, if alpha and beta be the roots of the equation, at S, you can write it like this. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. And then here, if alpha, beta, and gamma be the roots of the cubic equation, and then they come up with some other um, expressions there. Determinant notation, here it talks about that. Mm-hmm, and they show you how to compute some determinants. And then here they do, they do the determinant of a three by three matrix. They call it a determinant of the third order. So it's very quick, it's very, you can see it's just like go, go, go. Um, this is not uh, weak mathematics, um, so not for the faint of heart. 
old school, right? This is how people used to learn math, you know? And I think that's, I mean, this was their only choice. Wow, I always think about like Ramanujan, you know? I mean, wow, wow, wow. How he learned math, you know, the book he used was just kind of like this, uh, except it uh, had a lot more material in it and it was more varied. It was kind of like, uh, just like a synopsis of mathematics. Yeah, this is nice. Ah, oh, it just smells. Just gotta, sorry, I just got to give it another whiff here. I keep smelling it because it's... What's this? Properties of the parabola. Wow. This is cool. Spend a lot of time here. Equation to the chord of contact of tangents drawn from point x sub 1, y sub 1. Yeah, it's pretty... Pretty in depth. And it is unfortunate that, you know, you, you, we, we barely have any answers uh, in the back of the book. I, I don't know if there's an answer book for this. There might be. I don't know. Um, but in any case, this book uh, should be free because it's so old. And there's other books. There's other books by, uh, by this guy, by Loney. So we got coordinate. Ooh, 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 ooh we got to be careful there. Coordinate geometry. Solutions of the examples in the coordinate geometry. Yeah, okay, so here's answers. Um, so there is, there is, there is a solutions uh, book. An arithmetic for schools, a new edition of Dr. Todd Hunter's Algebra for Beginners, a new edition of Dr. Hunter's Euclid. Interesting. A shilling arithmetic. Huh. So I guess there are solutions, but yeah, I don't, I don't own that currently. No, this smells good. Ah, amazing, amazing. Again, I'll leave a link. Uh, by the way, if you want to learn math, I have courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com uh, or freemathbits.com. They're actually on Udemy, but if you get them, please use the links from my website because you'll get a low price and it helps me. Also, if you found any value in this content, feel free to subscribe if you want to. If not, that's okay too. The biggest takeaway you should take away from this video is that this is uh, considered a classic old school book uh, on geometry. I believe, I don't know if I'm correct here, but I believe this is still used. Um... I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, so if you know, if I'm wrong, call me out. I think this is used in India because um, I had some subscribers from India mentioning this book, and then, um, yeah, yeah. And I think they, I think you can get, I think on like Amazon India, I think there might be like reprints of this book. I think they have like really cool reprints of some classic books uh, that aren't available on Amazon.com. So, yeah. So that's kind of a random thing, and you can't, I can't really order from Amazon India and get that set. But in any case, um, Loney, I believe, is a book that might still be used uh, in some places. It's kind of an old school classic. It's like an old school, it's one of those old school British books. Um, very, very nice. Um, yeah, very cool. I hope it's been helpful. Take care.